Here's the tree Hurricane mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jormungandr's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. I need your eyes, my friend. Steel and flesh met here, but Yodna leave no corpses. Something huge was dragged this way. The ditch was dark so the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. This cart bears the sign of Agid. If it was Agir's cauldron they dragged through here, it must be large indeed. Construction leads towards that giant root. The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Soft moss all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. <laughs> I should be cautious around here. The missing cauldron. But how did they get it into this cave? That was not there before. Hard to know what is real in this realm of illusion.
must be a way to reach it. are not always as they seem in your Tanaima. The cauldron has grown smaller. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Sutungur's favor. I could go to Utgarta now. But a gift for Kunlola would improve my chances at
done to you? I'll free you, I promise. I'll find the key to this lock. Who has caged this Jotun? An Asir? It is a dire day when even enemies must be friends. But I must beg for your help. A hunter lives in a house nearby. He has become crazed, and now he preys on his fellow Jotnar. He has captured and beat my love, and soon he means to skin him like a rabbit. Will you have mercy and aid us? Where is this hunter? Inside the house asleep. Quickly. You must kill him before he wakes. He will have the key to this cage. What has that bastard done to you? A dog. I promise! I'll find the key to this lock. A door in a wall. Is this the house she meant? Well, that wasn't there before. I'll free you, I promise! I'll find the key to this lock. to you. Ah! <laughs> 
Promise! I'll find the key to this lock. A woman's hairbrush. Perhaps this hunter does not live alone. You'll be my newest trophy! Get out of my house! Take what you want. Just spare me. I am no thief. I'm here to free the Jotun you have imprisoned. That villain? He's lucky I only caged him. How would you react if you found another man porking your wife? Your wife? Aye. I've been waiting for her return so I can thrash her. She won't be able to walk once I'm done. Your wife has deceived me. I'll leave you in peace. Good. And leave that wretch in his cage. I'll deal with him later. God's help her when I catch her. I'll skip them both. You lied to me, Jotun. You tried to have me murder your husband. Get the key yourself, if you dare. A curse on all Asir. Be gone from my sight and never speak to me more.
None before. away and still in use by the looks of it. I want. Ratatusk the tree rat, what message do you carry today? I've received a new message just this morning. It says... Ratatusk is this girl who here shall run on the ash tree Yggdrasil. And the high one is he who will be crushed underneath my flighting skill. What say you, high one? I will take you on, Squirrel. Say when. Good. Let's begin. I'm a messenger born and I have got a word here from up on high. You'll be slain and undone by my cutting wit. I will stomp you like a rat. <laughs> you are no good. I am named for the way I bite at the bark of this world tree. But they ought call me knife tongue for words so sharp.
I will beat you here with ease. Your failure delights me. I deal mostly in gossip, but hear say truth. Hearken to the words I speak. You are a fat-headed fool and a puny god. I deal mostly in gossip, but hear say truth. Hearken to the words I speak. You are a fat-headed fool and a puny god. I grow weary of your squeak. That was almost good. I knew you were no match for me. Hail the new squirrel father. The high one returns. <laughs> this time I'm ready. Let's begin. I'm a messenger born and I have got a word here from up on high. You'll be slain and undone by my cutting wit. I should like to see you try. True, tooth. I am named for the way I bite at the bark of this world tree. But they ought call me knife tongue for words so sharp. I will best you at flighting, I swear you'll see. Your failure delights me. I deal mostly in gossip, but hear say truth. Hearken to the words I speak. You are a fat-headed fool and a puny god. I grow weary of your squeak. That was almost good. Ratatusk is the squirrel who here shall run on the ash tree Yggdrasil. Though he fought with some fury and did his best, it was Harry got the kill. <sighs> you did better than I thought. Now leave this place before I bite. This house once stood here, before ruin came upon it. Loki often tells the tale of how Thrymia stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration.
Thor's bridal circlet. This would be a gift worthy of Gunnlöder's attention. Just raise my hood here. is our lot. Have a look, Sunin. Let's see you, old friend. Do you see, Sunan? You are small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence, but you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlöder is different from you and I.
Go, my eyes. Soon in, guide me. Here's the stone circle, but no way into the sanctum. Another illusion. Gunluda, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures, but every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility. Waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep Father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... <laughs> Follow words so you can understand? Come back, I am not finished. I haven't been outside in... Uh, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I've heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten.
the vault, wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. So long we made magics there in that tower. Enchantment has seeped into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon we will knock it down. Harvey, your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutungar. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of mead? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now? We will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I'm called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat, their skulls my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. Though our people are enemies, I come here to do you honor, for I know that none feast nor fight like Yotna. Your words are well chosen. I offer a toast to Great Sutunga. They do not love me as much as they love to feast. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunga will open his vault. See musicians. Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? 
There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. Could you give it to me again? Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. A river has a mouth and sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a hammer. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it. Snow on the trees. You have a poet's heart, but you should have used your mind. It was swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? That was disappointing. Perhaps you'd better find someone more suited to your intelligence. Agir, mighty friend to the Asid. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? I should try the archery. Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink, and let fly! What can I do to get them to drink faster? What's this second? Let us hope you hold your beer better than you... Fine shot! Now, have a drink and try another. Close your eyes, your luck will improve! Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Close your eyes, your luck will improve! You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. 
My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. The mead is half gone. Then Aegir's cauldron can be drained. Aegir's... Is that Lo Loki? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I, I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? Surely he would not dare. champion and we will drain our horns in your honor bring me this champion and i will shine my knuckles on his jawbone behold do not mock me i will not fight a withered old crone <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her well that is that if she is truly your champion then so be it i will try not to break her brittle bones but I promise nothing. Who will challenge the champions? Who among you is brave enough? This is too strong for you! Perhaps a bay would be more suited to your strength! Can you not beat an old woman? Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you! Empty your horns for heavy! Oh, not a dry cylinder! Hold your heart, Ari! Beat the champion? Nobody's ever beaten the champion. No guests in the Drink kitchen! In the name of Out! Heavy. The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Give it to me! Mm -hmm. I want to go! Get your grubby paws off my heart! My turn! My turn! Not you too! You break the strings with your sausage fingers! That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive in that meat. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. <laughs> Bet they won't do it. How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. God's hair are vigilant. <laughs> there. Now give back the harp so the musicians may play. Umia's hairy balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Oh, 
Great Sutunger, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Gunnola? Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable. Finally, the vault is open. The mead awaits within. Javi? I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know.
the strange magic might the Aesir evade our doom. Hurricane has promised answers at the well of Mimir. Red-handed. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungar, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! For one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. That eyes looks fragile. Be thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Nidikin said to find her at Mimir's well. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day. <laughs> <laughs> 